What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Tails from Sonic Boom. Let's begin today's lesson in the center page and draw a small oval for the nose. We're going to start right in the middle, come all the way around toward the bottom, and then back up. Let's fill the nose in black. Now from here we're going to draw the top edge of the muzzle. Let's start over on the left side. We're going to curve up above the nose, then bring that back down on the right. Now from here we're going to work our way out towards the fur on the cheeks. Let's start back on the left side, curve this up, and then down, go to the right, and do the same thing. Now let's add a point on the end, bring this up and in. Let's add another point, going out and then down. Then again, just tapering that back in. Let's add one smaller one on the bottom, going out and then down. And it's going to bend this up and then in towards the chin. Let's round out the bottom of the chin. We're going to dip this down in the middle, back up and out towards the right. Let's move to the center and draw in the mouth. We're going to start on the left, curve the mouth coming down, and then up, and a small bracket on the ends. Now let's move up and draw in the eyes. We're going to leave a small gap in the center. Let's start on the left side, draw a straight line going up, move over towards the right, and do the same thing. Now we're going to round out the top of the eyes. Starting back over on the left, going up, coming down along the side, and then back in toward the top of the cheek. Now let's push the eyes towards the inside. Let's start on the left and draw an oval. Going up, come down, and just bend that in. Let's draw a smaller oval along the inside. Start from the top, come down, up, close that off, do the same thing on the right. Let's add a small highlight circle along the top of the pupils, and it will fill the bottom area in black. Now you want to place the goggles on top of the eyes. So you're going to draw two large ovals. Start from the top of the eye, come in, go up towards the top, down the side, and then back in towards the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right. I'm going to leave a small gap in between, and then come back down towards the bottom. Let's add a strap in between. Start with a curve going up and down along the bottom. Step up and draw that again. Let's add a trim along the bottom of the goggles, starting on the left, bend this down, and back up on the inside. Let's draw another oval along the top, pushed out towards the outside. So starting from the top, coming around, and up along the inside. Let's come down towards the bottom of the goggle, curve the head, going out, down, and then in on top of the cheeks. Now we're going to move up and draw the outside of the strap, going around the head, and then back in. Let's draw the hair in between the goggles. We're going to start on the right side, bend this up, and then out up towards the top and then bring that down in the middle. Let's go to the inside on the left, curve around, up, and then down. Now I just want to tuck that in behind. Now I want to place the ears on top of the head. Let's start from the top curve of the goggle, then the ear going up and then out. And then from here, curve around, down, and then in towards the side of the head. Let's trace the ears along the inside.
Now we're gonna move down and draw on the side of the body. Let's start on the left side, just underneath the head, curve the body going out, come down and just bend that in towards the hip, go over towards the right, going out, down, and then in. Let's draw the belt along the bottom, starting in the center, start with a circle, and we'll tuck the bottom of the belt in behind. So we're gonna step down, go out, and then up. Step up and draw that same curve. Let's add that strap going up in an angle, starting from the left hip, then it's out and up under the head. Step in and draw that again. Let's add a buckle along the top with two angled lines. Now we want to add that patch in the center of the body. Let's start from the top left, curve down and then in behind the strap. On the left side, curve down and in, add a point going out. Let's go over towards the right side, going out, in, and then out. Let's follow the curve of the body, coming down in behind the strap and the belt. And then along the bottom, curve those down and back up. Now in the center, let's step down and add a curve, going up and then down. And then we'll leave a gap in between the legs, go to the left side, curve the leg going out, and then down towards the ankle, go to the right, and do the same thing. Let's round out the bottom of the leg, coming down and then up. Now I'm going to go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Let's step out to create an overlap, go out and then bend that down. Now I'm going to wrap the cuff around the ankles. From these two points, let's step up, come around and in. Same thing on the right. Let's add another fold. Stepping out, come around towards the bottom, and just tuck that up on the inside. Now from the inside of the cuff, let's curve the heel, coming in and then down towards the bottom of the feet. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left side, bend the foot coming down and up. And then from the outside of the foot, let's curve this up and then pull that in towards the outside of the ankle. Let's place some wraps across the foot. Start from the top, then it's in and then down. And step out and draw that again. From the bottom, just taper this back up toward the top of the foot. And bring that back down towards the bottom. Now I'm going to add some bandages across the inside. Starting up here, angle this down towards the outside. Go back up to the top, step out, and just taper this out. Now I'm going to go back up to the top and draw on the arms. From the top of the body, let's step down, bend the arm going out, and then down towards the wrist, and then we'll line this up on the right. Let's overlap the glove on top of the arms. So we're going to step in, then it's up, and then out. From the outside of the cuff, we'll step in, bend the arm going up, and then in underneath the head. Let's go back to the inside, angle the arm coming down and then out towards the thumb. And then here, we're going to draw a half circle for the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. Now I'm going to draw three fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom curve of the thumb, come down and up around that bracket. Step down, go out and then up. And then the third finger is going to go out and just pull that in towards the outside of the wrist. Let's close off the outside by connecting this point to the wrist with a straight angled line. Now with the body in place, let's layer the tails in behind. We'll start from the left hip, curl the tail coming down around the hand, go out and then up. Let's go to the right hip, come down underneath the right hand, 
and we'll bend that back up. Let's add a couple points on the end, bend this down and in, and step up because it's up and in. Now the top of the tail is gonna get wider as it come in towards the bottom and just taper that back in towards the hip. So come down, in behind the hand, and continue along the inside towards the hip. Now I'm just gonna separate the end of the tail with a point. Starting along the bottom, go up, and just pull that in behind the hand. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color, and that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Tails from Sonic Boom. If you enjoyed today's lesson, then please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. And if you want to keep drawing with me, then click on this video right over here, and I'll see you again soon.